Hey guys, how's it going? This is Paul Cooley with RuleYourRealm.com and it has been a little while since I made a video and decided it is about time to make another video. And this video is gonna be a review on uh, a, a email client slash app uh, known as MailPilot. Now before I get into MailPilot, let me explain why I'm making this video. Um, I am always all about being productive, ruling the day instead of being ruled by it. And I truly believe that ultimately our life is made up of how we spend our days. And I don't know about you, but I do not want to spend a lot of my days just going through and battling the endless battle of controlling your inbox. That sucks. Um, and I've always been one that I want to just streamline it, man, you know, to, and just let's get this thing done. But I've also been one where emails can slip through the cracks. And if it's not actionable right then and there, maybe it's an email that I need to follow up with in a week or so, then it makes it a little bit harder. Now, the reason why I even found MailPilot is because uh, a recent update for Apple messed with Mac mail for, for me anyway. And I know it messed with some others as well. Uh, I think it depends on who your host is from what it sounds like. Anyway, um, I could receive email, but I could not send it out, which became very frustrating. Um, I looked into a lot of other apps. I looked on different mail apps I had on my phone to see if there was a desktop version or wasn't. And I really just wanted to keep everything the same. Um, and so I started searching. That's when I ran across MailPilot. And immediately, the thing that really caught my eye was just the overall aesthetics of the email client. I went, wow, this is really nicely done. Um, I, I'm digging what I see so far. Uh, but then as I started to learn about Mail Client, I realized that the, there's a whole methodology behind this app. And that's when I really got excited. So let me explain this for a second here. Unlike a lot of the other email clients, uh, you know, what, no matter how it's laid out, you, you're constantly still struggling to stay on top of emails. Uh, for example, if you get an email, uh, maybe you have to respond right then and there. Others, maybe it really requires your attention tomorrow or next week or even next month. Those are the emails that can easily get lost. Um, and so with MailPilot, uh, and, and if I didn't mention already, it is uh, for desktop as well as iOS devices, which is cool. Um, I'll just kind of go through this and then I'll actually show you the client here. The really interesting thing about MailClient that really sets Mail, uh, I'm sorry, MailPilot out from all the others is uh, there are, and you might be familiar with some of the mobile apps like Mailbox, where when you get an email, you can choose to be reminded about that email at a later time or whatever, which is awesome, awesome idea. Well, I really think MailPilot takes it a little bit farther in a couple ways. One, that there's a desktop version as of right now, because there's not uh, for Mailbox, it's coming, but not yet. Um, it treats each email as a task. Now, we're not necessarily used to thinking of an email as a task, but, but think about this for a second. Each email as a task, maybe it's an email from a company uh, that's not a client, not a customer, maybe it's a service, service that you use, or maybe it's a newsletter that you've subscribed to, and it doesn't necessarily require your attention now. Maybe you wanna read that at a later time. Well, for me, in past situations, I okay, I'll get back to that later, and it just kinda gets lost in the inbox. Um, Maybe it's a receipt of some kind. Uh, I get those, you know, from different services. I'm like, okay, I need to file that and keep track of all my receipts. And that can easily get lost. Um, maybe it's an action item where in the sense of from a client or customer or something like that, where it's very project related. And I need to make sure that I get this thing done uh, soon. Maybe not now, but soon. Uh, those are the ones where I've got to just remember, rely on my memory. And when I got tons of things going on, it can slip through the cracks. With MailPilot, this is what's awesome about it, is it treats each email like a task. So when I get an email, I choose what is the proper action item for this email. Do I respond right away, or is it something that requires my attention tomorrow, next week, whatever? Um, is it something that I can kind of file away for a later time? Maybe not so important. Now, and that might start to sound kind of sort of familiar with the GTD methodology. With this, uh, you can set reminders, organize your emails, as well as uh, uh, complete your messages. And this is kind of a different terminology. 
So after you've decided what you're going to do with your email, um, instead of necessarily maybe not deleting it, but you can check it off as complete. I really like this, and I'm about to show you a couple things here. Um, you can schedule emails, be reminded on certain things as well. So let me just bring up the email client real quick here. So uh, it's really nicely laid out. You have uh, you can control multiple email accounts. Um, at the top here, you can choose if you want to see your entire inbox, um, just emails that are assigned to you today, which is kind of cool, which I think I, I've already cleared out. I've, I've completed all my tasks for today, which is good. Uh, you have set aside emails and then upcoming ones. Now, keep in mind, I've only been using this app for about a week now. Uh, and, and for a lot of it, I've kind of been bouncing back and forth between Mac Mail and all that kind of stuff. But when you, when you go and click on an email, uh, you have the entire thread that I can expand and, and read uh, the whole conversation, which is pretty cool. When you're actually within an email, you can also, from down here, you have complete uh, set aside, remind, list, and delete. So I've got those little sections of buttons down there where I can, oh, and I, I didn't realize it gave you little uh, definitions of what those buttons were. That's cool. Um, but you can do it right there. Or you can also, from up here as well as on the side, you can control different things, which is pretty cool. I can forward, I can reply, just like a regular one. But here's where the cool part comes in here, is let's say, for example, I'm supposed to meet with this client of mine. Um, I need to be reminded about setting something up, uh, let's say Thursday, uh, which is in two days from now at 1.30 or 2.30. So what I can do is I can remind about this email, right? Uh, and I can choose, hey, I wanna be reminded, um, just as an example, I'm gonna do 24th, um, set in two days. Now you notice in the today email, it's completely gone. It disappeared and got filed away into my uh, um, upcoming tasks. So because each email is a task. Um, here's an email from my dad. <laughs> so if there's no nothing really for me to do, I can either choose to delete this email or I can check it off as complete. You see what I'm saying? So the same goes for all these different emails. Uh, there's a receipt. So okay, now I, I maybe I need to file that away in a list compared to uh, a to-do item. All that kind of stuff. It just depends on what you're doing. Um, then from here, I can I can go and, and check out different things, um, which is pretty cool. From here, I can also add different uh, email accounts. Uh, I know I'm moving fast here, but that's kind of the whole purpose of this. So again, if you keep in mind that as emails come through, you're treating them as tasks. Now, in a couple days, I'll be reminded, hey, you need to meet up with so-and-so and so forth. Um, I've used it multiple times, even just the earlier today, where different emails came in. I'm like, okay, I can't do that right now. Let me just be reminded in an hour or two, which is pretty cool as well, because uh, when you have constant stuff coming at you, you're being bombarded with tasks and uh, people wanting you for this that and the other uh, it's easy to forget and with mail pilot it eliminates that and everything is so much more organized and gives you a lot more control of your workflow also I will add the other cool part to a lot of mail pilot is uh, I think I got the page open yeah oh maybe it's here I lost the page uh, let me hit the back button they offer a lot of cool video tutorials explaining what complete, incomplete, reminders, lists, set aside. They also have shortcut uh, deals where I think they really made it to where you never even have to touch a mouse. That's kind of their, their, their strategy there. Um, I'm trying to think there's so many cool things. You can, you, you can do everything that a normal email client can do and then more. That's really what it comes down to. Now, let me also say this. Um, when I was looking at this, I was really surprised on the price uh, for the computer. It's like 20 bucks, 19.99, I think it is. Uh, that's a little pricey uh, for an email client. Um, I think there's a lot of others that's like a dollar, two dollars, six bucks, you know. And uh, so 20 bucks is up there. It's probably one of the highest priced email clients I found. Um, for the mobile device, which nicely you just have to buy one, you know, and it will work for the iPad as well as iPhone, uh, that was like $9.99. So really, for both, you're going to spend $30. Bucks. Um, I almost didn't do it. And it wasn't just because of the price, it was because of the reviews. 
uh, if you look at the App Store and you look at their reviews, they really don't have a lot of good reviews. And what I think happened was when they released this about a year ago, and I believe this was whole a, a, a Kickstarter campaign. Um, I think it was just two guys doing a Kickstarter campaign. Um, I think they probably launched a little too early and it wasn't quite ready for everybody and that's where a lot of people kind of got mad and wrote bad reviews. Um, it really looks like they've released some good updates and they're committed to this thing, which I really like. So you have the beauty of the aesthetics of, of this email client, but they also have added this whole methodology on how you view and how you... Um, how you operate with your emails. That's really kind of what it comes down to. And I believe somewhere in here they actually have, uh, where was it? Oh, learn the workflow. Um, so it actually will tell you and show you and train you how to be able to be better effective uh, with your emails. So again, um, you know, it's a little bit pricey. It does have a lot of bad reviews. I have not had any issues that all the bad reviews have stated because I think they probably um, fixed a lot of that, which is good. Um, but I really, I'm really digging this thing. And so I wanted to share it with you guys because I believe this mail pilot app could be very helpful for you to rule your day rather than be ruled by it because I don't want for you or for me to be overloaded with crazy amounts of email. That's stupid, that's dumb. And uh, you know, why do it when you got this? So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, definitely check it out. Check out their site, mailpilot.co, and you can kind of check it out for yourself. There's some videos to watch where you can actually see it in action, probably a little better than this video. Um, and there, there's even more features that I didn't even cover because I personally have not used them yet because I'm still getting used to this thing. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Go out and rule your realm, and I will talk to you guys soon.